today's cup of coffee, we're going to kind of answer a question that we had the other day on one of our other videos. Which was? Uh, you know, as far as Beetlejuice 2 being in the making. Mm hmm And it's like, you had asked what was the last thing that Tim Burton had done. Yes. So this one is about the things that Tim Burton has done. And his most recent endeavor has been, um, I think it was it on Netflix, the the series Wednesday, which was based on the character of Wednesday Adams. Yeah. And I that, have no idea if it was good or not. I heard that it was mediocre at best, but that was that's just what I heard. We just never did get around to watching it for whatever reason. But that the girl that plays Wednesday Adams, that, that she's the one that they have tapped to play um, what was Winona Ryder's uh, part of Lydia Dietz. Uh huh. So hopefully she plays a good, a good role. Yeah. But so that's that's Burton's latest endeavor, and then he did a version of Dumbo. I hope they didn't just cast her. Just because she's popular right now. That's probably the but exact reason. But I have a reason. feeling that's why they did. Yeah. But as far as his version of Dumbo, and I'm going from most recent to down. I'm yeah. just going down on that. Yeah. Did you watch the Dumbo movie? No. I didn't either. Then he did a version of... Alice Through the Looking Glass in 2016. He did a version of Alice in Wonderland and Alice Through the Looking Glass. Did you watch the Alice Through the Looking Glass? Yeah, I watched both, um, both movies. Okay. Both are all, they're, they're both good. Okay. I like them. Um, the second one involved, uh, time. Was that the one where she was fighting the Jabberwocky? No, that's the first Is one. Is that the first one? Okay. Yeah. I watched the first one then. I don't know that I watched the second one. I don't know that I didn't. Spoilers may be included in this, so sorry. Nah, I threw... Was that where they explained about the Red Queen, why she had the issues that she did? Was that in the second one? Yes. Okay. So I did watch it. It's just mm -hmm. been a while. They explained why she had the big head. Um... It was the, a the poor, empathy. The poor... Uh, Mad Hatter's family got kidnapped. Yeah. So he, he gave a little bit of a background. It was an yeah. ex exploration of mental illness and how it can affect individuals. Yeah. Then there was the one before that in 2014. And I know that you had wanted to see this, but we never, never did get around to watching it. It was called Big Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. And it was I based really on an to... artist, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. It was based on an, on an actual artist, and I did want one of the paintings at one point. Um, they have these big, sad puppy dog guys. Cannot remember the name of the artist, though. I can't either. But um, Lana Del Rey did a song for the, for the movie. Okay. Captain Sparky versus the Flying Saucers. That was a short film that he did. Was it really? That says 2013. There's things that we need to catch up on watching. We I've were never just heard out of that. Of the loop on a lot of this. That stuff. is left field. And then in 2012 was the one that you had remembered. That was the last one that you had really remembered, which was Frank and Weenie. Yeah, Frank and Weenie. That was the last like animation he did, wasn't it? I, it may have been. That was the last stop motion he worked on, I believe. The stop motions are great. And, and Kid has this my knowledge, I, total love and appreciation for stop motion. Always have. Mm -hmm. People don't understand how much effort goes into that because it is a labor of love. I've done it. I, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Well, you were a kid and you were trying to do that. Yeah. Which was, you know, very admirable. Yeah. But now you, you've got so many more tools and you have more knowledge to know how to do these things i do yeah there's a channel that's called what is, it's craftsman what is his channel called craftsman steady craft and... so, yeah yeah and he actually does he's gotten into some stop motion animation he is a brilliant human being yeah so if i can remember i'll put a link to his channel if you any kind of crafting thing 
And he is just the coolest human being ever. We love him. Yay. And then back in 2012, he was the producer of the music video for Lincoln Park that was called Powerless. I was not a huge Lincoln Park fan, so I missed that I never saw that music video. Like I said, we've got a lot of stuff that we need to catch up. I wasn't that into Lincoln Park. Like, I like Lincoln Park, but I'm not that... It just... It was depressing. I'm not into them. It, It was depressing. They are depressing. Yeah. It's depression music. Yeah. Which I try to avoid the depression music. Uh, I don't need encouragement on that. 2012, and I was shocked to find out that he had produced this movie because huh. it is one of my favorite movies. So I therefore should have figured that he had something to do with it. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. He was involved yes, in that? He was the producer. Oh my God. <clears throat> Oh my God! If you have, I love that movie. He was to blame. It it's an awesome movie. What are you talking about? That he one I have watched more blame. than once. Then going further back, two thousand and nine, he produced a movie called Nine. Yes, that's an odd little movie. I like that movie though. It's been a long time since I watched it. I just it's remember it being time very since it, since odd. I've watched it. Wasn't it kind of on the depression side also? Yes. That's probably the reason I have avoided it. I don't need encouragement. I learned I had depression at a very young age. Oh, God, yeah. Then in 2005, Corpse Bride. Yes. That one was a really good one. Um, I liked that one. People had looked forward to that. Um. There was a TV movie that he did in 2000 that was called Lost in Oz, and he was the executive producer on that. Do you remember anything about that? Do I look like I Well, you were like one. You were one. Yeah, yeah, I was one, but I would have known about that. But how the fuck do I not know about that? I don't know. Like I said, there were a lot of things that it's like, my God, we have missed so much of his work. His version of Oz. Also in 2000, he had a TV miniseries where he was the producer. It was called The World of Stain Boy. Who is Stain Boy? I don't know, but we need to go and find out. Dude. He wasn't the one who did, who did the uh, cat with the, what was it, enormously large head? Was no, that, that was, was a different, that was the same artist that did Lenore. Okay. So, <laughs> We have a collection of odd God. literature and stuff. We really do. Yeah. This one, I think I did know. And, and it's like, my God, it's, it's like traveling back through time. And I'm like, shit, it has been that long. In 1996, Mars Attacks. That is a cool movie. I love that movie. I do. God. It, it's an awesome movie. I like the one, I like the character that glides across. Mm-hmm. That's this it was just yeah. a cool movie. Bites the finger off of one dude. This one I didn't know that he did. And I have seen this movie a lot. Love it. But I just didn't know it was him. James and the Giant Peach. And after I, I sort of knew it, that. After I, I think about it, it's like, well, of course that was a Tim Barton. Because yeah, the art style is totally him. Yeah. So. I love that movie, though. It, it is a good movie. It is a really good movie. It is a really good movie. That's another one of those movie. Ron Dahl things, and it, he he was an odd man. Yeah. Ron Dahl was a... Well, yeah. that's, I'm sure that was still, a good fit with Tim Burton. It was a wonderful thing. Yeah. It was a wonderful Yeah, it was good. Movie. 1995, Batman Forever. We ain't gonna talk about that. Why? You don't like that movie? We ain't gonna talk about that. Okay. We ain't going to talk about any of his Batman films. Well, from what I've, you know, that they were good. Yeah, they were good. They were good. I, I, like I said, during some of these points in my life, I'm like, where the hell was I? They were good. I like the one that had uh, oh, Uma Thurman in it. Mm, which one was, I don't even know what that one was. I, I, Uma Thurman, and I think either it was one of the Pulp Batman Fiction films. or Kill Bill. So that, she was in one of the Batman films. She okay. played Poison Ivy. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, these these are things that people can put on their list. And she kissed Robin, but Robin had rubber lips on. <laughs> oh, okay. So that she, that he did not become poisoned by her. Okay, yeah. I get it. Did would it make him itch? It would have killed him. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. That makes because sense. Because of that. Well, I can get that. 1994, he was the executive producer for a video called A Visit with Vincent. As in Vincent Price, I would assume. Some of these I'm may be able to. That. Some of these may be found on YouTube or he, something. He made. Oh, are we also going to include his like short films? Uh, I'm just I'm reading this off of IMDb, so and I will include the link in the description box. It will probably include his short films too, maybe. Maybe. Well, it's, it had other ones. Maybe. 1994. And this was a movie that I was thinking about the other day. And I need to go back and watch it because it was great. He was the producer of the movie Ed Wood. And Johnny Depp played Ed Wood. I've and it was it. just brilliant. I've, I've seen the Hillywood version. <laughs> this is, it is such a good movie. It is about Ed Wood, Where the, the worst sis- producer ever. The Hillywood sisters play Johnny Depp in this parody series. Okay. About him playing Ed Wood? Him playing all of the characters oh, okay. that he has played. Well, I could now I have to watch a lot, that. that. In that all these fucking movies. That sounds interesting. That's classic yeah. YouTube. They don't do good shit anymore, but... Well, you know, we try to be yeah. good shit. Yeah. We do. It's... it's we we're try, old school YouTube. It's not that good shit anymore. It's old tube. Old tube? Yes, we are old tube. <laughs> old school YouTube. Anyhow. <laughs> we we knew. What? We on we knew. What is the we knew? That, that was a YouTube knockoff. Oh, okay. Well, the, I've known some of those. I really have known some of those. 1994, also, he produced I thought that something. Was pretty, I thought that was funny. <laughs> I thought that was... He Does produced anyone remember We Knew? Something called Cabin Boy. Cabin Boy? Cabin Boy. And, of course, in 1993, that was when he became a household name, and that was The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. We, what about Cabin Boy? What was more about Cabin Boy? That was it. That's all I know. That's just the Cabin, Cabin That's Boy. it. That's just going down the list. That's what I'm was doing. Was it an animation? Probably. I'm not sure. Does I'll, it have a picture? I'm not going off the page, y'all, because I'll get more confused. 1993, that's when your brother was born. Okay. Nightmare Before Christmas. And then there was a TV series that he was the executive producer, and it was called Family Dog. You, you, also, on the Nightmare Before Christmas, real quick, um, I love that movie, but that movie is overplayed. It is. Because he has, he has a lot of other things, and it's like... Give Frank and Weenie some love. Yeah. I, get, I, even though I don't like Frank Well, and, and that's what it much. is. You get some of these chains that they get the the money makers and they just what about drive it bride? into the ground, huh? We give corpse bride some love, mm-hmm. but let's face it, it was good on its own, but it was not Nightmare Before Christmas. No, no, it was not. Then in 1992, he was producer for Batman Returns. I didn't know this. The TV series of Beetlejuice. Which was the cartoon, yeah. which was great. He was the executive producer on that. Yeah, I did know that. And now you can find, and that was from 89 to 91, there's 94 episodes of that. And so you can find a lot of those. I think it was on YouTube, but we found some, wasn't it? Yeah, it was on YouTube, I believe. But there's so, other places that you can find it also. And I think that Michael Keaton had done the uh, voice for Beetlejuice. Did he? Mm-hmm. That is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now, Winona Ryder did not do the voice, not to my knowledge. I don't think she did the voice of Lydia. No, no, she didn't. But. No, she didn't play uh, Lydia in the cartoon. Someone else did. Okay. And then going back to 1990, this is a movie I have watched once. That's, that was enough. And people love it. And that was Edward Scissorhand. And oh my God, that that was so sad. It was. I love that movie. It's a good movie. But dang, that movie is sad. Yes. 
And when you've got something that has that, that's like watching Old Yeller or what's the other one with the dogs? I can't remember what the other one was. I don't know. Dogs. I don't watch or that Or the movie. Red Fern I don't like to watch movies that make me sad. Right. When I find one that's like that, it's like, oh, hell no, I ain't gonna watch that again. I did it once. That's enough. There's so very that was how few I feel movies about I will watch hands. that make me sad that I will willingly I'm, watch. Mm, mm. No, nah, I don't even. I don't even. And then he had a short movie back in 1982 that was called Lua or Luau or something. It's L-U-A-U. Is that Luau? I think that's Luau. I think it's so, Luau. Uh, and then all the way back in 1979, he was probably like four I don't know how old uh, Tim, I don't know how old Tim Burton is. Hey Siri, how old is Tim Burton? He had a short film that was called Stalk of the Celery Monster. He's 64? He is 64 years old. Okay. So, the short production, Stalk of the Celery Monster. Stalk of the Celery Monster. That sounds something cool. So, all kinds of things for you all to... Uh, find out about Tim Burton. Explore some of the things that he's done. Yeah, Dumbo is another one that I. I the reason I didn't want to watch it. It's sad. I ain't gonna watch. I don't want to watch sad. I ain't gonna watch the original Dumbo again. No, God go, no. And I ain't gonna watch his rendition of the Dumbo because it's sad. I guess it's sad. It's I don't know. I don't. I don't care if it's sad or not. <laughs> I don't care if he cheered it up. More than likely, knowing Tim Burton, <laughs> he didn't. No, he. I'm sure he probably didn't. I'm sure you know Tim probably. Burton didn't. But yeah, I ain't gonna watch that. I don't feel like crying. I don't like. But you know what? Something that I'm noticing on here that I don't see. Was his version of Willy Wonka. They didn't mention that. Why? I don't know. Because whoever made the list may have just totally missed that one. I don't know. Or is this the unknown stuff? No. Like that the was... lesser known shit. No, that was the known stuff. Well, yeah, he did Willy Wonka, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. No, I mean, it's got 25 of the things on there. Yeah, there was other stuff that he did. I didn't realize that it was not a full list or I would have used something else. It also didn't mention Sweeney Todd. I forgot that he did Sweeney Todd. Mm -hmm. God. Yep, yep, yep. Priest. And what it is, it was a matter of a little priest. where these were the things that says he is was good, the so producer. Still good, at least. Ah. There's a difference between what he was the producer on and what he was the director on. The director, there were 40 things that he was. Oh. So that was, that was my bad. Okay. That was my bad. I see. I see. So, yeah. And, oh, they actually added on this Beetlejuice 2 as far as him being director. 2016, Miss uh, Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. We've not watched that one either. No, we haven't. I saw the trailer for it and I wanted to see it, but I, I, I never did. Dark Shadows. I watched part of Dark Shadows. That was in... He's been even more busy than, than we thought when it was just the producer. Yeah. Oh my god. I think that's because he prefers like the shadow. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. But there it is, as far as Dark Shadows 2012, Alice in Wonderland of 2010, Sweeney Todd 2007. That was another one. I watched it once, and that was it. Because it was, there was something about that that grossed me out. I don't know why, but it just... Which one was it again? Sweeney Todd. Oh, yeah. It, well, there I mean, was, he's slitting a lot of throats. Well, yeah, but it, there was slitting just... Slitting a lot of throats. It, it was one of those that it was sort of monochromatic except for the red, which was intentional. Yeah. And it, it was something that was visceral. Well, that was, I, that was Yeah, the but point. it was just like, it, it was like, no, it grossed me out. And I'm Toby, like, no, I'm done. I'm Toby, done. Where are oh, you and are? Big Fish. Mm. I did watch the movie Big Fish, and that is a really, really good movie. 
What's big, big fish? Um, there's no way I can describe it. You just have to watch it. It's it's kind of saddish, but it's. I don't want to watch it's that. Good. It's good. And I haven't seen. Oh, he was the music director for um, the video by the Killers that was called Bones. Hmm. I don't remember that one either. So. Cool. So I will put two links because. Yeah. I iced up. That's what I did. I totally iced up. Final thoughts on Tim Burton's achievements. He's an odd man. He really is an odd man. Is it mostly mostly hit or miss? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I really do. That's he's got a cool style, but honestly, his storytelling, hit or miss. Well, I don't know as far as who, who the writers are. Honestly, he and Johnny Depp truly do work well together. Yeah. And that other lady, what is her name? Mm, Helena. The one that he used to be married to? Helena something. Yeah. Carter. Bonham Carter, I think is Helena her name. Helena Bar- Bonham Carter. I think it's her name. Yeah. And I, I could see being married to somebody and have to work with them all the time. That's crossing a lot of boundaries. Oh, yeah. I so, can see how that would strain the relationship. Yeah. Majorly. Yeah. But anyhow, lots of things that you can explore. Lots. Lots of things that we need to write down and explore. I need to print this one out. Yeah. Final thoughts on Tim Burton? I think I just did then. <laughs> did I miss them because I was thinking about what I had forgotten? Maybe. It's like a time I asked husband, can you remember what you forgot? And he just looked at me and he went, no. <laughs> what a brilliant answer that was. It truly was. Anyhow, if you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, if you would like to let us know what your favorite Tim Barton production is, that would be great. Put them in the comments or you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And I will put the, uh, well, the email address will be in the description box. And I'll put the link for the, what is it, IMDB. Yeah, the IMDB page. Because I always, the dyslexia on that. Yeah. So. Yeah. If, is it my turn? It's your turn. Well, well you did. You didn't give me my my sign. I'm literally. sorry. I'm gonna literally. I'm, literally I'm going, going off of nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little sign. Yes, Seriously, please. Point to you. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all, and have a good. <laughs> and he'd be looking at me going, "Why are you pointing at me? Don't be pointing at me." You would, and you know it. You would know that you're very loved. You need a little sign that says your turn. <laughs> ah, know that you're loved and Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Yep. Bye. Bye.